I fixed it. All right, we're good. And I know for a fact that Fusion named his dinosaur after his pet dog, Tina. Oh, wow. That's some interesting... Uh, fun fact. Fun fact. Fun little factoid about these teams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. The gates are opening. We have the jungle versus RMD. I have no idea who's going to take the comp advantage here, but we'll see. Defensive flare. Drifting's just going to throw the pet nova out, try and blizzard Beanslayer out. He doesn't want to give the opener on to Unafraid from Beanslayer, and Beanslayer's staying far away. And he's going to blizzard Tony out, start building the icicles here shortly. Tony is throwing out some early damage. Taz is going to pre hot. That's going to give Beanslayer a target. I think they're going to go after the rest of Druid, possibly. He's trying to wait for Unafraid, see if they can manage to pull him out of stealth. Unafraid's going to have to be careful on his toes here, uh, moving around, that he doesn't end up getting pulled out. He's going to play very passive. Drift King's going to use that blink, and they're going to open up immediately onto Beanslayer. Uh, meanwhile, huge sack, not in any CC at the moment, but Beanslayer taking a lot oh. of damage uh, from both Unafraid uh, and Drift King's. Drift King's also taking a significant amount of damage. Ironbar coming out from Taz onto him. Beanslayer catching that save by the light, also using his first survival instinct. Fusion also using his trinket. Uh, Taz really only used Ironbark there, so the RMD definitely got the better end of that exchange. Taz caught into the full Hodge at the moment. Beanslayer still taking a little bit of damage. Unafraid trying to kill him up with the gouges as much as possible. The full blind coming out onto Fusion. They're trying to pre pressure down Beanslayer, who's caught into that full kidney shot at the moment. The full polymorph onto Fusion, who has to use his bubble. The smoke bomb comes out. Fusion running in, trying to get those heals up. The killing spree comes out. The offensive clone from Taz onto Beanslayer, and Fusion has nothing left. He has no trinket and no bubble for another minute. Beanslayer is in a lot of trouble with no survival instincts left. This could be the end of him. Taz caught into the full clone. The maim on to Unafraid. Um, one thing to note is Beanslayer still has his offensive cooldowns. He still has his king of the jungle up, so they might be able to make something happen, but at this point they're in a lot of trouble. The full bop coming out onto that kidney at the same time. Fusion gets cloned. That was a very clutch bop. Polymorph coming out onto Tony. They're just trying to wait it out and he Why actually canceled the boss so Driftings couldn't spell steal. It was a really good play there. Murder of Crows come up on the Driftings now. Taz going for a clone instead of healing. It might end up in Driftings block. Beanslayer finally popping his offensive cooldowns. Now swapping it over to Unafraid to try and pressure Taz. Taz gets hodged up. He's got to be careful. Unafraid uses the evasion. The incarnation is still up on the Driftings. The arm bar comes up at 50%, but there's the kidney on the Beanslayer. Huge side finally leaving some CC. The frozen orb coming out. Trying to push Beanslayer over the edge, but Drifting still can't get to topped off. Taz actually got locked out on that cyclone. A frost shell on the huge Huge stack, probably onto Tony. Uh, Beanslayer should be okay as Unafraid gets cloned up by Beanslayer. Uh, bash onto Taz now. Possibly a full trap out of that. The full trap's going to land. Taz doesn't have his trinket. They're trying to get the pressure. Unafraid doing a good job peeling both of the DPS with the cheap shots there. Taz finally leaving the trap into the Wyvern Sting, though. Drifting, sipping lower and lower. Unafraid into the maim. Good cross CC from the jungle, but now he's finally caught in the kidney with nothing left. Killing spree comes out. He shreds through Saved by the Light. Huge stack is in desperation. He pops the Avenging Wrath. He pops the Aura Mastery, trying to top off Beanslayer his best buddy and he's gonna be able to and then he goes into the another poly he's gonna have to come out of this and get some miracle healing he's gonna get cloned at 30 percent he's got to be careful with that execution sense he can't afford to get it cloned yeah and he does finally get that off drift kings, drift kings in a little bit of trouble now the bm crows are up for tony so they could make something happen on him taz is gonna have to save that iron barker it will surely be uh, drift king's second block there it is the bm crows immediately answered by the iron bark from taz so he should hopefully be okay from that beans are caught into the full kidney the, to uh, the cl cyclones out on a tony style who does trinket that fusion into the deep freeze right now but it's not going to be any follow-ups you see ooh, except for the blind drift king's taking a lot of damage the second block coming out from him both teams just doing so much pressure right now unafraid caught into the trap into a full cyclone and Drift Kings is the one that's in trouble. He's out of his block. The full Hodge on the Taz. He has no trinket available. Drift King's in a lot of trouble right now, doing everything he can to survive. Spamming those polymorphs on the Tony, but he's still not caught up. The bash on the fusion, the full kidney shot on the beat and they're trying to turn around on him. Uh, Fusion caught into that full polymorph. He does have Trinket available. He's not going to use it. Survival Instinct's coming out from Beanslayer. Drift Kings is the one that's still in a lot of trouble. percent HP and he's just going to explode. That was a high-pressure game, but um, looks like this Scout's Honor is going to take the first one. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> they were kind of racing to kill there at the very end. That was incredible. And uh, if you look at the time in CC, I mean, uh, Beanslayer put 59 seconds in the CC into those stuns, uh, and Ataz also put into 59 seconds of both druids, taking about a minute of CC, while the healer uh, Fusion was only in 42 seconds. But I don't know. There we go. Let's take a quick look at the replay. At the very end there, I mean, you can see that both teams are kind of spent. Uh, at that point, um, Drift Kings had no block available to him for not just quite yet. And uh, Survival Instincts just came off a cooldown right when Beanslayer came out of that uh, stun 
And uh, that survival instinct was key to giving Fusion some time, some breathing room to be able to heal Bean Slayer up. But there it is. First map going to Scout's Honor. Now the RMD is going to get an opportunity to choose a map. Now, is there even a map available to this RMD to give them an advantage? I can't. I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah, I think this is one of those matchups where yeah. map isn't going to matter too much. I don't think there's any target they can play. really. Yeah. If you pick Runes of Lordaeron and you're not the aggressive team, then you probably don't want to pick Runes of Lordaeron. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you're going to go on Tolveron, it probably means that you're going to play more defensive. If you're going to go on Dalaran, it could go either way. Tigers speak the same thing either way. They're, they're more neutral maps. Um, <sighs> this RMD, what map will they go with? Probably Tigers speak. I don't think they want to bring it to a more. They don't want to bring it to a Russian. They want to, yeah. they want to play it very. Wow, holy crow, you freaking called it. Okay, so the next map is going to be Tiger's Peak. Is like right after you finished your sentence, he whispered it to me. So that was pretty clutch, man. Actually, oh, Tolveron, actually, okay. He switched oh, it? Yeah. Yeah, that means he wants to play safe. They're going to go on Bean Slayer again, probably. Not change anything. All right, the next map is going to be the one and only Tolveron Arena. I'll see you guys in there in just a minute. Eventually. One day. There you go. Alright everybody, welcome to Tolveron Arena. Uh, as you said, Supa, they, they want to bring the game out, they want to be a little bit more safe. Uh, I do feel like this Jungle Cleave is the aggressors, but if they do end up bringing this game to a later game, is that actually going to give this RMD an advantage? Ah, uh, I'm unconvinced. I don't know, we'll see. They got to play a little bit better. They got to. They got all of the trinkets in the beginning of the game, which is surprising to me that they ended up losing that game because in that situation against an RMD, you end up falling just more and more behind. You can never go offensive, and there was one point where Beanslayer just got his Incarn off and it really wasn't punished. Yeah. Well, I think the RMD is going to have sort of a momentum, the momentum in the opener, especially if Bean Slayer and Tony are being a little bit passive with their offensive cooldowns. They just sort of wait to blow those, and once they do, it's hard for the RMD to recover. They just have so much momentum from it. But I'm afraid just going to run Whoa. in right away with that stealth, and uh, their entire team is going to get knocked out by Drift Kings. Drift Kings getting opened up to right now. Tony, looks like Tony's going to be the target of choice, getting cheap shotted at the moment. Um, Beanslayer caught into that full clone from Taz, but Drift King's taking a lot of damage from the BM Crows of Tony. Beanslayer getting cloned up, but now he finally connects. Caught into that full kidding shot, though, by Unafraid. Beanslayer just getting chunked, saved by the light coming out. He gets that survival instinct off, the smoke bomb coming out. Because of that survival instinct, I think he's going to be okay. It's, it's going to fade. Uh, Fusion's still not out of CC. Caught into that bash right now, but Taz caught into that full bash. The trap coming out from Tony onto him. They're going to try to pressure Drift Kings and turn around um, this damage swing right now. Uh, Bean Slayer still not out of the woods at around 70% HP. Ooh, Fusion not ooh, anymore. So ooh, Drift Kings getting down to 19% HP, forced into that full block. Tazzy into the Cyclone right now. He's not going to be able to get any heals onto Drift Kings at the moment. The full Hodge coming out onto Tazzy. He does have that Trinket available, but I think he's going to opt not to use it. Um, if he Trinkets at the moment, it could be detrimental for him. This full Cyclone coming out from Bean Slayer onto Drift Kings at the moment. Beautiful offensive clone there, but Unafraid puts him in a full Kidding Shot. Fusion deciding to immediately bop that to keep the uh, keep the pressure going sorry fusion cut into that full polymorph drift king still taking a lot of damage and both teams just doing so much pressure Slayer, killing spree coming out onto him he survival instincts the trap onto the rogue wyvern sting on the druid 3v1 under drifting so much damage coming in right now taz is gonna ns and bring him back up to 80 percent bean slayer moving over now to put taz into a full bash trying to get the cycle out the full clone's gonna land a blind on to fusion though he did sacrifice it, it got it's still not spell stolen it might end up breaking here they're not doing any damage it doesn't matter a cheap shot on tony a gouge on the bean slayer drifting still getting pressure he's pulling back with taz right here he's gonna be able to top him off with those regrows unafraid trying to build for that red buff get the killing spree up a little bit faster. Taz gets locked out on that cycle on the full clone onto Bean Slayer. Hodge on the Taz now. Tony trying to counter pressure Drifting's here who's spamming the polymers onto Fusion, but he did sack it. He didn't manage to spell seal it in time. Now Taz into the full trap. Fusion broke it with a denounce. A huge miss denounce there from Fusion. And now Bean Slayer is under pressure as he goes into the frost shot. 50% HP. He's gonna have to use the Avenging Wrath to try and play catch up. A maim onto Unafraid. Drifting dipping lower and lower. Tony actually deterrence offensively there to avoid a cyclone. He's gonna be down one deter. Going for the barrage now onto Drifting 
Reflections. He's got one more block. He's got to be careful. And Beanstar gets bopped out of the kidney with the Shadow Reflection. Great time bopped by uh, Fusion there. He's going to cancel it before Drifting can spell seal. The Wyvern comes up. Drifting could die through Ironbark very easily. He's locked on Frost. 40% HP. 20% HP. Kill shots coming in. Blocking at 15% and dodging near death. Yeah, and now Drifting has no block available for another minute when that Cold Snap comes off cooldown. He gets out of that block, finally catches a huge regrowth from Taz there. The Swiftman regrowth coming out, able to top him off fully. And it looks like this RMD is having a hard time um, actually getting pressure going. I mean, Fusion still has his bubble and trinket available, but as I say that, um, he's caught into a deep freeze. Full polymorph is going to trinket that immediately. Beanslayer in a lot of trouble, though, popping that survival instincts. And Fusion actually having to use his bubble as well. So Fusion has no bubble and no trinket, and Taz able to get the offensive clone onto Beanslayer. If they can get any follow up CC onto Fusion, Beanslayer could be in a lot of trouble. The Garrote coming out onto him. Uh, Drift Kings has his icy veins up right now, just trying to get out as much pressure as possible. The full. Um, Frostra coming out onto Fusion. Beanslayer still taking a lot of damage. He is going to get topped off by Fusion there, but that was a lot of cooldowns from uh, the team of Scout's Honor. Yeah, and Beanslayer is dipping lower and lower and lower. 15% HP remaining, and he pushes up for a bash while Fusion is falling. Not really anything else he could do in that position. Finally caught out with nothing left, and Drifting's an unafraid. They're going to fish him off. Tony has a word, though. He's trying to finish the job here. Going to play it out. Drifting, blazing speeds across with the invis. He should be able to survive. Tony realizes it. Going to AFK out. This game's tied up 1-1. That it is. And uh, choosing that bigger map and playing safe definitely worked out for this RMD. They uh, they got through all the defensive cooldowns and played it safe against this jungle. And uh, there it is. At the very end there, Fusion just completely tapped on all his, uh, all his outs, all his cooldowns. Um, and uh, Beanslayer going to go down. And that means the next map is going to be chosen by Scout's Honor. Yeah, I think one of the key moments in that game is uh, um, that's something that sometimes happens as a Holy Paladin where it sometimes is better to just bubble. Like, he got caught in a CC and he trinketed, and he ended up having to use the bubble anyways because he got caught in a follow-up CC, whereas if he had just bubbled initially, he might have been able to um, top off Beanslayer and then still have that trinket available for the next CC chain on him instead of having to use both, which ended up costing him the game. Yeah. So now that it is this Jungle Cleave's turn to choose the next map. Oh yeah, he also broke a trap. Ooh. He even <laughs> broke one of the traps with his Instacast denounce, and I mean that could have been a lot of pressure on a Driftings. And it's all about momentum in a matchup like this. Yeah, one CC chain can definitely be the game, as we can see, or as we saw. Whoa! Uh, no. the next map of this best of three is going to be on Dollar and Sewers. My entire future tournament prize pool thing. Oh, right. I thought my future prize pool thing was broken, but it's not. We received a gigantic donation, so I'll talk about that whenever I have um, a free minute. But it looks like... Uh, what this, was it? Um, it looks like this uh, team left. Yeah, they're, they're left. We have time to talk. What was it? <laughs> uh, I had a three hundred and forty dollar donation um, from MGC One. Uh, thank you so much. Holy crap! Uh, the message he left is GCD is love, GCD is life. Keep it up, bros. That is unbelievable. We just reached that. I think Peter Pan agrees with me. Meow. Meow. Wow. Thank you, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for that uh, for that donation. It looks like uh, Unafraid's team does need a few minutes. Uh, I guess they're gonna go ahead and strategize here. But the next map is gonna be on Dollar and Sewers. We've reached our five hundred dollar donation goal. That's unbelievable. Thank you so much, uh, everyone who donated. There's actually been a few donations as well. We did get a, five, a ten dollar donation from Jen, a five dollar donation from uh, Kresnix. Thank you so much, guys, and that huge gigantic donation from MGC um, going to go ahead and just top off our donation goal at $500 even so uh, <laughs> thank you so much man uh, all the donations go directly to future tournament prize pools to allow us to keep doing what we're doing <laughs> Where is he? I, I work at the National Amphidi Amphibian Institute. We have received oh recent information gosh. that a person known as D-Machine has committed a crime against Frogmanity. You will be held accountable. You hear that, D-Machine? You're going to be held accountable. Rest in peace, man. Uh, What's the punishment for a crime? What suits that? We let a frog eat D-Machine? 
<laughs> That's... That sounds even. Oh my god. Yeah, totally, uh huh? That sounds totally even. I'm still kind of baffled about that donation, man. I'm a little shaken up. I really appreciate it. Uh, now I have to sax cam next week because I promised if we made it to it that I would. Really? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh, nice. Is D Machine white or pink? I'm a solid salmon. Prefer to be called salmon, not pink. Thanks. It's a complexion that often happens when you uh, eat tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, alright. I'm just waiting on Unafraid. I mean, they do have their full 10 minutes. What do you think they're talking about? Um, probably about the uh, weather. What they had for lunch, maybe? Huh. What their plans are for after R&D doesn't strategize. They just go ham. I feel like Bean Slayer is definitely the right kill target, but they're kind of expecting it at this point, huh? Mm. Yeah. I, I don't think he's the only kill target, though. I think they can swap between the Feral and the Hunter. Yeah. I mean, the only thing that really holds them back from getting a kill is the trinket, and I mean, as long as they can force that on the feral and the hunter, then they have a good shot of killing either one. Red buff killing sprees up. They can land CC on diffusion. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, what's the cooldown on survival instincts? Once it, I mean, they do have two stacks it's of them. Two minutes. It's two minutes though. Hmm. Each. So technically, one minute if you space them out every one minute. Usually can't do that against a combat rig though. What are you doing with your lights? Um, I have this LED lamp. Here, I'll show it to you guys while we wait here. Which I use to illuminate my room. Or my illuminate. Area. Illuminate. You don't know what sabbatical means, but you use the word illuminate. I still don't know what sabbatical means. It sounds like some sort of like religious building. Or is that a citadel? I don't know. What's a sabbatical? It's a cathedral! Oh, really? Sabbatical is, is that? <laughs> no, sabbatical is not a cathedral, but uh, it's not a citadel. That's not what it is. What's a citadel? Uh, like an evil castle is what that sounds like to me. Some tower or something. Alright, looks like tower. they're finally ready <laughs> to save me from Supa's demise, man. Putting me on the spot. I don't, I don't know what that word is. <laughs> but the next map of this best of three, the last map of this best of three is going to be on Dalaran Sewers. Jump right in. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Oh, they go on. Oh, right, it's, it's vacation. All right, here we go. It's one to one. It's jungle versus RMD. This is the winner's bracket. The winner of this map is going to advance, and the loser is going to go to the lower bracket and potentially get eliminated. So, here we go. Jungle versus RMD, but it is Dollar Rand Sewers. It is the jungle's choice. Now, they won on the Grand Arena and lost on Tolveron. Can they pull it out on their map choice? We're about to find out in five seconds. Yeah, I think if uh, they start punishing Tazzy for going up for aggressive clones, maybe swap to him, try and 100 0 him, it'd be an opening for them. I feel like both teams need to swap a little bit more. It feels like they're tunneling one guy for a little bit too long. The flare's going to come down. Unafraid's trying to dodge it. The pet never comes out. Unafraid looking for a target to open on. Trying to find Bean Slayer. They're standing right next to each other and they don't see each other. Tony po pulls the rogue out. Bean Slayer's going to open on to Unafraid as a result, denying all of his opening damage. Luckily, he didn't use Adrenaline Rush in the opener like you normally would see. The clone now on a Bean Slayer up from Taz. Drifting's got the Iron Bark as the Murder of Crows goes up. Tony gets gouged, I believe, on his barrage, so no big damage coming out. A huge sack sacrifice to Polly there, so he's going to get broken on that. Keep Tony offensive as he goes through the barrage onto Drifting's here. The Iron Park is fading and bash onto Taz, but a kidney on a Bean Slayer. He's getting lower. Unafraid's going to get hodged on his Adrenaline Rush. Taz is wyvern. He can't dispel a good cross see, but Bean Slayer's just getting chunked. Drifting's owning him right now with those Ice Nova. Save the light's going to proc as a result. Uh, Fusion finally leaving the CC, trying to fake the counterspell. He fakes the counterspell, but he goes into the full blind. He might choose to just bop this off. He's trying to sit through it. It might be a greedy play. He ended up just trinketing and popping his um, his wings there. He's going to top off Bean Slayer, and Drift King's the one in trouble right now. The BM Crows have um, another 15 seconds, so those are going to be up. Bean Slayer caught into the clone from Tazipu, Unafraid also cloned at the same time. Here comes the Deep Freeze on a um, huge sack. He gets interrupted on the Polymorph. 
a by Tony. Well done by him. But um, <laughs> sorry, um, Taz now caught into the trap. Drift King's taking a little bit of damage. Traps gonna fade. Taz going for that restealth, and both teams. Um, are sort of stabilized at this point, but now the red buff killing spree coming out from Anafred onto Beanslayer is taking so much damage, having to pop that survival instinct. That is also the bubble of fusion taking so much damage. The offensive clone coming out from Tazipu onto Beanslayer. Um, this could just be the game if they could get anything onto fusion. The deep freeze coming out. Beanslayer caught into that full kidney shot, the save of the light procs. He's in that smoke bomb at the moment. They're just shredding through it. Um, he does catch a huge heal by fusion there. He might be able to get topped off, but here comes the incarnation. They're trying to counter pressure Drift Kings at the moment. He's going to get chunked down by that Feral Druid's cooldowns. Taz caught into the full hodge. He did manage to get the Iron Bark up, but this is probably going to be his block anyways. What? Getting chucked down so hard by Tony Slayer and Bean Slayer, or sorry, Tony and Bean Slayer, pardon me. And Drift King's gonna use that first block there. Tazzy Poo still has his trinket and heart available as well as NS, but Bean Slayer caught and do that full kidney shot. They're gonna try to turn around the pressure on him. Fusion and not uh, not in any CC at the moment, so uh, he's gonna be able to top off Bean Slayer, but um, that was the offensive cooldowns from Bean Slayer. Yeah, and he doesn't have any shield wall available. No trinket, no bubble on anyone on the jungle cleave side. Bean Slayer's in trouble. They're trying to counter pressure, but is it the time? He's camping bare from. He could just go down through it. Polly under huge sack is gonna secure the game here. Full kidney shot as well. The entire team just CC'd towards the end. Nothing that Scout's honor could do. Unafraid is the worst, according to his team, because that's his team name. It's gonna move on. They are going to move on 2-1, to one, but Scout's Honor isn't out of the water just yet, guys. Scout's Honor does still have the lower bracket to get through, um, but there it is. They're still in it. Now, that being said, if Scout's Honor faces this RMD once again, uh, are they going to play FMP next time? I wonder.